Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take uh, one more numerical. The more numericals you solve in the chapter, the better is you answer. The surface uh, cubical box has each is 10 cm. There's a cubical box which has each edge as 10 cm. And there's another box, one is cubical box, the other is cuboidal box of unit 1.25 cm long. So I'll put the value here. Sorry, 12.5 cm long, 10 cm wide, 8 cm high. And note all the units are in centimeter. So no problem. Which box has greater lateral surface area? It's pretty easy. We just have to find the lateral surface area of both the box, cubical and cuboidal box. So lateral surface area of Q. So when you talk about the lateral surface area, we ignore the top and the bottom. We just take care of four sides. So the lateral surface area of the cube will be what? 4a square. Why? Because each side is a square and there are four sides in this lat the four lateral sides. So 4a square is the lateral surface area of the cube. Please note the total surface area of the cube is still 6a square. The lateral surface area, the four side area is 4a square. And that is nothing but you put the values 4 into 10 into 10 centimeter square. That is nothing but 400 centimeter square that is the lateral surface area of the cube okay next lateral surface area of the cuboid lateral surface area of cuboid so here also we ignore the top and bottom so what we take is length into height and breadth into height that is 2 into length into height plus 2 into breadth into height Okay, and let's put the values here. This becomes 2 into 12.5 into 8 plus 2 into 10 into 8 and the value will be in centimeter square. So you solve this, you get 360 centimeter square. So which one is more? So you can see the lateral surface area of the cube is more. So we can say that, therefore, lateral surface area of Q is more than that of cuboid by the difference is 400 minus 360 that is 40 centimeters square one part is that the next part is which box has smaller total surface area please note here it was greater, they are looking for greater, that is nothing but in the answer you have to write in that way. But now we are looking for total surface area, let's find the total surface area now. So total surface area of cube is what, as I told, this is 6 a square. Put the values, 6 into 10 into 10, that is 600 centimeter square. Let's find the value of total surface area of cuboid. And that is nothing but 2 into L into B plus L into H plus B into H. Put the values here. 2 into length into breadth, that is 12.5 into 10. Length into height, 12.5 into 8. Plus breadth into height, 10 into 8. You saw this, you get 610 centimeters square. Now the question is which has smaller sur total surface area. So you see that here also cube has smaller total surface area. Cube has smaller surface area than that of cuboid by you see this is 610, this is 600, so delta is 10 centimeter square, 600 minus 6, 610 minus 600, that is 10 centimeter square. 
correct so one thing you know that cube has more lateral surface area but the cube has less total surface area so in this two case so it doesn't mean that if it has more surface area total surface area it will have more lateral surface area both are different so it can happen that some one picture has more lateral surface area but it has less total surface area as well so if you see in this example a small indoor greenhouse is made entirely of glass panes and they have told including base so base is also included in this that means we are looking for six sides and they're held together with tape so there's a tape that runs and they are held together with this tape what is and dimensions are given 30 uh, centimeter long so this is 30 25 centimeter wide this is 25 and 25 centimeter high all in centimeter good for us we have to find the area of the glass so that for that we have to find total surface area of the indoor greenhouse so you must be knowing what is greenhouse you must have studied in physics there's something which is made of glass it traps the heat the light which comes has a different wavelength and the light reflected back has a different wavelength so once the light is in once the light is in it cannot go back the heat energies cannot go back and thus the whole uh, box becomes heated you must have seen the car in the summer season right? the car is heated so that is greenhouse effect anyway so we have to find the total surface area of the greenhouse and that is nothing but 2 into the length into breadth length into height and breadth into height now we have to put just the values length into breadth 30 into 25 length into height 30 into 25 breadth into height that is 25 into 25 and this is in centimeters so this becomes centimeter square so all this you get 4250 centimeter square that is the area surface area of the greenhouse uh, indoor greenhouse and that is nothing but the area of the glass required right so this is nothing but area of glass required that is 4250 centimeter square the next question is how much of the tape is needed for this 12 edges. You see, there are 12 edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 edges and need a tape to bind it. So, if you see, uh, notice that there are 4 length 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, there are 4 breadth 1, 2, 3, and there are four height one two three four or let me repeat once again so there are four edges with the length is equal to the length of this greenhouse box one two three four there are four edges with the length equal to breadth of the greenhouse box that is one two three four there are four edges with the length equal to the height of this box one two three four so the length of tape required will be how much four of length four of breadth four of height 12 edges four plus four plus four okay there is nothing but four into l plus b plus h put the values 30 plus 25 plus 25 and this is all in centimeters, so it has been in centimeter. And you put the values, you get 320 centimeter. 50 plus 384 into 80 is 320 centimeter. That is the length of tape required. Pretty easy. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.